After 18 days of testimony and more than 30 witnesses, an event that took place seven years ago still hasn't been settled. Bella Craft reports from where the Dakota Access Pipeline protests took place and has a recap of the trial. I'm here near the Cannonball River, and seven years ago, just northeast of here, the main camp on Army Corps of Engineer land was cleared out, effectively ending the Dakota Access Pipeline protests. However, who should pay for that is still up in the air. The trial lasted two and a half weeks in federal court, and Morton County Sheriff Kyle Kirkmeyer was there almost every day, listening, learning, and reflecting on what happened seven years ago. From everybody testifying and, and listening to them that it was, the, the message was pretty consistent from, from the beginning of the trial all the way to the end uh, about what happened and the reasons uh, for it. He says that message was the core is at fault and should have done something like allocate resources to the state. In requesting that assistance, it was for the, the, the safety of it, not to, uh, not to end the protests, not to you know, do anything about the, the First Amendment rights and what you can and can't do. I reached out to Native American activist and attorney Chase Ironize, who testified at the trial, but did not get a response. But in court, Ironize said there was an excessive use of force by law enforcement, and what the court did or didn't do did not affect the camps. The future of the pipeline, which was finished in 2017, is still uncertain. The Corps had a public comment period in November on whether the Lake Oahe crossing should remain. Kurt Meyer says he's unsure what will happen. The process like this needs to, to take place in the courts and, and through the legal process, not, on, not out on the prairie. He says it wasn't his decision to bring the issue to court, but is glad it went to trial. Kirkmeyer says if the state is awarded money, he has no idea where it will go. I reached out to the Attorney General's office about the cost of the trial and got no response. The U.S. declined my request. From rough estimates given at the trial, the U.S. and the state spent more than $900,000 just on expert witnesses. Federal and state attorneys say it will take about six and a half months before their closing arguments are submitted. Then Judge Daniel Traynor will make his decision. Near Cannonball, I'm Bella Kraft reporting for your news leader.